guys this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter and today I'm coming to you with another little video here just showing you a couple of projects and I'm going to be building a snowman with you uh, for the first time because I've not made it yet um, and I just wanted to share quickly the reason I'm even going into the the snowman thing here is because I made this little mini album and I wanted to make a quick project and I thought for Christmas this would be so much fun to give away as a little gift. And in a previous video, I shared some little goodies that Carolyn Vega from Tea Time and Dolls had given me. And that was part of the, the giveaway that I was doing. So she gifted me some items and she also gifted me some little enamel pieces. So you can see them there, the little Christmas tree and the little gingerbread man. So thank you so much, Carolyn. I put them to good use. And what I did was that I wanted to make it a happy, whimsical album. Uh, I love making elegant things, but I also like making things that are just for fun. So, and this is one of them. I used a tag die and I used the sentiment, happy holidays here. And then what I did was that I used my Cricut print and cut to make the little snowman. And look at this, I added these little lights. Isn't that fun? And then I also altered an image to make my own little sleigh because I, I didn't have this image. So I went ahead and made my own. And then this little ball here, if I'm not mistaken, this came from Target probably last year. Uh, I had that in my stash. And then this little star here. Oh, and here's another charm that Carolyn gave me. I thought it was so adorable. So I added that there. The little star here came from the Dollar Tree. And of course my trims, ribbons, um, these I love because they're nice and glimmery. There's the back of the book and it's very simple. It's actually not even finished yet, but I'm getting there. Um, I've been working on quite a few things. So on the inside here, I made another little tag and I used a digital file that I have for that cute little girl penguin. And then I just embellished it with little goodies there. I made a little tab here for this page to open like so. And it'll fit uh, a lot of little pictures or sentiments, that sort of thing. And then this one I did diagonally some, uh, some little pockets there. And then I just added some fun little tags that have stitching on the edges. But like I said, there's um, there's still room to grow in this album. I'm not done with it quite yet. Uh, as you can tell here, this one doesn't have tags on both sides, but there will be tags there. So I repeated uh, some more little sentiments here. And for this, I used these Sizzix uh, sentiments here that I thought were really cute. I was actually looking for the first version of this, but Hobby Lobby was all out. So I ended up having to get those, which are not my favorite, but they'll work. And then I used the uh, first memory book die collection for the little belly bands that I created there. And it helped me break up that busy, busy paper a little bit. So here are some other little pockets. And with this, what I used was a die set that I have that actually makes envelopes. So I incorporated that there. And I thought that was a lot of fun and lots of shine on this page what i did was that i created the little polaroid picture inserts there whoever gets it can cut out the pictures to fit on the inside by using these as templates and then here's the little uh, this is also from the digital file that i used and then here i made a little shaker which here we go i think some of the bits were too big but i had fun making it and it shakes about a little bit, I don't know. Uh, the little trees in the background there are another die set. And I also embossed the paper there, which is kind of hard to see, but it does look as if it had streaming lights on it. And then this little guy is very well known. He's from Cricut. Um, so I did use print and cut for that. And then I used some other little um, dies that I have for the snowflakes there. And over here, this is from Tim Holtz. <laughs> And uh, it says wonder and I added some little gems there. And this here is from, um, I can't recall the name of the die set, but I've been using it frequently. And over here, I used another die to create those little mittens. And then I just added some more fibers there just to make it fun as if it's dangling there. So that was a lot of fun to make. And this will tie it closed. Um, I try to use some good sturdy ribbon there. So anyway, I was playing around and I got these Hanuk Studios dies, sorry, <laughs> that make the little penguin and the snowman. And look what I did, aren't they so cute? So I made a little boy and a little girl. 
and what I did was that I did emboss the pieces and it's quite a bit as you can tell but oh my gosh all right I was making this and all I could think of and I know I'm dating myself was run DMC and back in the day when he used to wear those sneakers with the big big uh shoelaces oh my gosh I started laughing so hard thinking about that but anyway um so what I did was that I used the actual dyes as my little templates there to color in the uh, the shading there. So I thought that gave it a little, I don't know, a little more depth to that. And he's so cute. And then there's the little girl. And what I did was I hand drew the, um, the eyes. As you can tell, it does cut out the little bitty circles, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I draw my own. And uh, as you can see, she's got some little glimmery ice skates. I just used a very faint pink for her. Um, and then this paper already had the pattern on it, but then I still did the shading and the pink. So adorable. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make the little snowman. And what you do is the same pieces that you use for, um, I'll explain the same pieces that you use for the body, the belly, and the face are these three pieces here. So then what you do is that you just cut them all out in white and you start assembling them as you'd like. And as you can tell, I did take a little pearl there and the little beaks that I had cut out in pink and yellow. In this case, I just cut it out in orange to give myself a little kind of, um, you know, the little nose of the snowman there. And this comes with a lot of small pieces. I'm just going to put a couple little drops of adhesive there. And there are no rules as to how you make your snowman. You just, I don't know. I figured I'll make him a little bit wider in the middle there rather than tall. But I suppose it's up to however you want to make it. And then here I'm going to add a little more adhesive to stack his little head. And here's the pieces that become the scarf. I'm going to just add some adhesive here on the back. That way I can shape or grab these guys and give it, you know, the look that I want. So I'll just start doing this to make it look as if it has some movement. And of course, it doesn't stick 100% right away but can build them like so or her I guess it's gonna be a a girly snow girl and I love these because they would make a perfect album cover piece um, or embellishment I should say but of course we can put them on tags or anything else um, so for her little nose, we go ahead and place that first. And I do have tweezers here, reaching over to get my supplies. I feel like they're a world away uh, because of where I'm filming. Okay, so there's that. And then what you see here as the little arch or piece there for the earmuffs, that actually cuts like so. Uh, I've cut a few of them, as you can tell. And what I like to do is cut all of the pieces as many times as possible and put them in a little dish. And then I can, you know, pick and choose. But here is how these go now. This, <laughs> this becomes the arms. I think this is so cute. So obviously I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half. And I guess this could be cut out in brown too, but I'm just going to keep it simple and do it in black. Add some adhesive to her little arm there. And what I think I'm, let's see here, I'm going to pick her up and have her, I think this is adorable for a little, oops. You know, like winter cards uh, or Christmas cards. And it started snowing today where I live. But it's November, so we sometimes get snow 
in early October, so I guess I can't complain. No. I'm thinking it would be hilarious to have her, like, strike in a pose, but <laughs> that's just me. All right. And I've got all this paint all over my hands because, um, I guess you won't, well, I'll put it like this. Because I spilled, well, I didn't spill. My paint fell over, and I didn't know it till just a minute ago that it was all over <laughs> part of my desk. I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to wipe that down. Um, all right, so now what I'm going to do, I think I'm done with this for a moment, is I'm going to put her little pearls on, but I'm going to use hot glue for that. So let me see here. I think I'm going to try to center that as much as possible there. And of course, this would be adorable with um, Nouveau drops or enamel dots or those little, the um, the ones that are already pre-made, of course. I have some of those, but uh, I figured I would give a try to the, um, the little pearls. I think she's coming along quite cute. So you could make them all the same color. I'm going to do pink and white. And I guess I should have done it all in pink, but that was just sitting there. So, okay, there's that. And one more. And then any little cobwebs I can just move away when I'm done. I think it's so cute. All right, so now from here, uh, the other things that cut out, uh, other than the scarf and the little earmuffs, are the little shoes, the little feet, <laughs> the little blades of the ice skates. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. And then the little candy cane. So she could be holding, you know, like, yay, I found a candy cane. I thought that would be kind of cute. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's cute, I don't know. But I guess I should have cut it backwards maybe. Or maybe she could be holding it over here. I don't know if that's too much. Um, Because I have other, let's see here. I have other candy canes, but they're just, this one's licorice. I think this is probably gonna be my best bet so that there's, um, a chain a contrast in color or I could just give her something different to hold I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna give her something different so I'm just gonna do her eyes and I'll show you how I do that I'm going to do a gray color here very light gray just two little ovals then I'm gonna do a medium color gray And then I'm gonna do black, but for the black, I'm going to use my little micron pen. And I apologize for any background noise. It's not coming from me. Okay, so then I'm just gonna outline what I just drew and make sure that it has a happy expression. <laughs> so I'm gonna give her some little cheeks here. That's what I did with the penguin. And then some lashes because she's a girl so why not. And I think I like that. She's a happy little snow girl. And I suppose if you really wanted to play around with these shapes you could do a number of things like give her a little hat. Maybe I'll do that. Make this into a little hat. I think that would look so adorable. And I think that would look really cute with a little pom-pom hat. <laughs> She's going to have a little hat like that. Up here. But I'm going to stick that here. And then her little pom-pom up here be like that and I think that looks really cute <laughs> so that's my little snow girl 
And I think she's adorable. And like I said, this can be used on many different projects, like a card front or anything like that. And I hope you were able to see what I did there. Um, the, uh, the shape here overlaps a little bit. So it I, almost looks like one of those little, um, oh, I forget the kind of hat that I'm referring to, but I think it, it looks adorable. And so there are her little pearls. And like I said, her little arms. And I think I might give her like a little something to hold there. But yeah, I hope that you found this uh, video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at paintsandglitter at gmail.com or leave a comment below. I hope that you are inspired and that you can be blessed. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.